Welcome to D20 Deathmatch! Welcome to D20 Deathmatch, Acolytes! We are here. We're late, but we are here. Wouldn't believe the day the Arbiter has had in the bowels of the Dread Fortress as he brings himself up from fixing the toilets last week. Spent an entire week in the sewer system, but he's risen above the shit and is now clacking once again in his Italian leather shoes through the halls of the Dread Fortress. Your tap shoes, you mean? They're not tap shoes. They're fine. They're tap shoes. I told you Italian men like to know, you know, they like for you to know when they're coming. It's not all right, as we, we move, all? yeah, <laughs> fair enough. As we move into the halls of Lucia Sky Piercer, and into her throne room, uh, Grandmaster, are you are you home? Are you? And you hear nothing in the throne room, like it's silent in there. But if you listen even more closely, you know, Gr- Arbiter, just uh, roll me a perception check, real quick. Oh god, I don't just, even know what my perception just a is. Perception. Just uh it's just assume there's like a six on top of this. Oh, a seventeen. Uh, okay, okay. okay. 23. Oh, okay. Sorry, you didn't add. Alright, twenty-three. Solid. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. as you walk into the throne room and you go further and further back, you hear the sounds of someone struggling. Like almost like would you stop like it feels like someone's being strangled in the back room far 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 back like think almost the grandmaster's master bedroom and bathroom uh, grandmaster as the as the arbiter pulls out a dagger and starts to run to the to the commotion and whoops around the corner with the dagger held high in his hand and you hear, as you keep getting closer, the highest pitched scream of someone shrieking as if they are dying. Something more like a pterodactyl, but I'll take it. <laughs> Very weird. And there Whatever. is no one, nothing in the Grandmaster's bedroom. Grandmaster, where, where are you? As you're getting closer, you're hearing the screams get louder. The struggle is happening just around the corner in the bathroom. Is the bathroom door locked? It is not. It is actually open. Good. Well, then I'm going to burst in with my dagger. (laughs) As you hop into this, give me a dex check. Oh, God. I don't even know what my dex is. Yeah. Okay. 15. 15 plus. Well enough. You hop in, and on the tile, the floor is slippery. You slide a little bit, but you catch yourself. And you hear and find the source of the high-pitched screaming. It is no human, but Doug screeching his lungs out. Our poor little dog, the absolute symbol of D20 Deathmatch, is crying his lungs out as he is getting a bath. And you just see the Grandmaster struggling and fully soaked as she tries to hold this very angry pug in the water to give him his bath. The Arbiter... Would you just hold still? We, this would be over so much faster if you quit moving. As you're as you're doing that, the Arbiter stops in his track and puts the knife away, but stands for a moment and just smiles at Doug's torture. Yes, perfect. What Suffer. are you doing over there? Get Nothing. over here and help me. Nothing. If you just hold him, get in here. Uh, Grandmaster, we don't have time to watch Doug. There's a death match happening. And, and as she looks up, Doug slips out of her hands and just runs out of the bathroom. Look, look. Great. Great. Now he's still full with soap and he's out. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You know, I could have and magically she- cleaned him. It's... That doesn't do the trick. He needs a little extra scrubbing. There's like the oils in his fur. It builds up. That doesn't get pulled away when you do your prestidigitation. That one has too many sounds in it anyway. The the P spell, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you do that, it doesn't get everything. You have to do it by hand. It's not the same. Just, yep. It's just not the same. You gotta, gotta do the P stuff by hand. Get it. 
fine. Get, get this water off me at least. You could do that much. <clears throat> All right, very well. And as the Arbiter throws that water off of you, it lands on the wall, forming a water portal. Grandmaster, let me introduce you to this week's champions, if I might, if I may, for your pleasure. None other than Professor Stabs versus Mad Cass O'Weary. Welcome to the Grandmaster's Bathroom, champions. Where the fuck am I? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck are you, lady? Oh, God, you didn't tell them again. Uh, I thought you, you always are supposed to sign a contract, <sighs> promise them whatever they want. Come on. Uh, see, Grandmaster, what had happened is that one of the champions, uh, inter uh, their their portal provider was uh, was down, so we had to. Oh, I had to last minute fill in with Mad Cass here. Fucker came in with a bit of paper and stuck it in my face. I used it to wipe my ass and then staple it to his head. Does that He's count as a up. signature? He's very upset. Upset? I was upset when McDonald's got my burger order wrong. I am pissed the fuck off. Do I have to fight the upset man? <laughs> Who the fuck is this short guy? You want to fight? I'm my professor. Professor of what? Kissing the ground? Stabbing. I'm going to put my foot so far up your ass, I can pick Please. my toenail clippings from your mouth. Please don't. Oh, <laughs> Professor Stabs, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm dying to know who this champion is. Don't worry, Madcast, your turn will come. <laughs> oh, he he hello, everyone. I'm Professor uh, Professor Stabs uh, over from the University of Stabs. Uh, I I teach uh, Stabs 101, uh, theoretical stabbing, uh, uh, stabbing in Spanish, just a few of the basic stabbing curriculum uh you know I, I haven't put it into much practical use yet i did request for tenure and i, I guess this is how one acquires tenure uh so i i guess i guess me and the very angry man who wants for some reason to put his foot in my butt until my teeth are where his toes are i guess we're gonna we're gonna fight each other i'd much rather you stab me sir if you could <laughs> for research purposes. Of course. <laughs> Very well. Well, we're excited to see what an expertise in stabbing looks like. But Matt Casaweary, dear champion, what are you bringing to my battlefield? I mean, this is not, let's be clear, the bathroom is not the battlefield. This it, is it could be separate. No, it is not. Uh, it's it's kind of spacious. Listen, I just got the sinks done. This is all new marble. If you get any of this broken, I will make you pay. For Blood it. works as a great sealant for the grout. Okay, enough. Mad Cass, tell me, who are you? Uh, at this point, Mad Cass like looks over to the sink and grabs like this um, this glass of, of some some strange liquid. Uh, mm -hmm. He immediately drinks it <laughs> uh, as he just takes a very unhealthy mouthful of mouthwash and he chugs it like a freaking boss. Uh, that's... Uh, all right. I'm Mad Cass, and I'm here for, I don't know, a fight probably, especially if this guy's name is Mr. Stabs. That's Professor. a cool name. <laughs> Professor Stabs. That's a cool name, okay? Thank you. I hate people with cool names. Oh, no. So what you're going to see is you're going to watch me, watch how quickly I can disassemble someone with nothing but a stern gaze, a very, very high blood alcohol content, and these! You're not holding anything. Oh, you bit fists! <laughs> you hear his sort of neck sort of audibly crack as he sort of tenses his muscles. You should ah. see a chiropractor. <laughs> well, Actually, this... I do have an appointment coming up. <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> do you need to crack says, anything else too much before we get into on my this? Shoulders. Okay, okay. He's so angry, and I, I really like that about him. That's my, I really enjoy that. I think this is going to be a fantastic contrast. You know, I, you surprised me on this one, Arbiter, but you know what? You did a good job. You did a good job. Professor Stabs and Mad uh, Casaweary, are the two of you ready for grand battle? Fuck yeah! Kinda? <laughs> good enough. <laughs> 
That will work. Arbiter, take us in, please. <laughs> Very well. As the Arbiter then swirls that water portal around and the, uh, the sh it shimmers into a new setting of a small like town. Dog. It does. It's dog bath water. It's not, it's not my fault. Don't look at me. Dog hair everywhere. Welcome. Yes, this is a little favorite of mine. A nice little town, a quaint little town. And we're going to begin here on the roof because you know what? I wanted to make sure that you got the best view in town. And as you stay and you look around on this roof, that is about 20 feet off the ground. You see barrels likely filled with drinks as you're above probably the center of town, a tavern, perhaps a restaurant of some sort. And you look across the cobblestone streets, buildings and rooftops, and even a small clock tower over to your right. Now, dear champions, this field I give you, this town may be demolished, but it is only through your own hands or weapons that you may do so. Please tear this down and we will build something grand in its place. Perhaps a memorial to your greatness that you will show us here tonight. You'll look around and see this. This is your arena. And anything that is on the ground is our flat. Everything at the level is always 20 feet up once, unless you want to try to climb the clock tower over on the right. And with that, the Grand Master's wings will open and she will fly high into the air. Now, dear acolytes, yet again, we have brought you two amazing champions for you to bear witness to. And she'll throw her hands out open to the two of you. Show me those devil horns if you're ready for a fight. Who will you be cheering for? Professor Stabs or Mad Castle Weary? And she will take her seat high above amongst the acolytes and a small, very wet and soapy Doug cools out from behind and takes his seat, happy and waiting. <laughs> All right, champions, welcome to the arena. You will bleed here and one of you will die here. Wait, it's what? It's in the it's in the name. This is D twenty death match, not D twenty love I match. I thought it was just for flavor. <laughs> Why does everybody seem to think that they think that they can come here and that they don't have to die? I don't understand. Well, it's you no know what you know what it's fine. It's fine. My I I'm sorry for yelling. I got a little heated. Can you roll me a one D four, please? Both of oh. you. Oh no. Each of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The first test. I just have to find out how to do it. One second. It's, In uh, the bottom right corner, uh, you will you see a foundry. There will be a whole series of dice. If you were... In that chat box. Oh, I see it. There you go. Wah! It's all mm -hmm. yours. Take this! <laughs> oh, a tie. Three and three. Good. Both of you do another D4 then. Frick. <laughs> All right, very well. With uh, with Cass, a three and a four, Cass, you will begin this fight on top of this roof over here. Oh, don't Pro take me from the pit, <laughs> Professor Stabs. <laughs> you put me far away from the angry man, please. You will begin this fight. I'm sorry. You'll be you'll be here. You'll begin this fight over here. <laughs> but before we can get started, the acolytes have already demanded chaos. Yes. All right. Oh. The box of chaos. The arbiter snaps his finger, <laughs> slams down onto the battlefield with a, uh, a thunderous roar. And you know what? I just realized that I'm an idiot and I don't. I can't do numbers right. Uh, three, four, three, three. So this, you guys should be on the other side of the map. Let me move you real quick. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're, on, you're on the roof. You're here oh. in this slop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you're oh. in the slop. Uh, in any case, that box of chaos slams down onto the field of battle. 
This box of chaos, the lid flips open. Yellow and pink and purple flames shoot up in a column in the sky. You know exactly where this box is. It will situate itself all the way opposite, right below the clock tower from you. If you scroll yes. in and out, you can... Uh... By the way, if you right-click, you can drag the map. Um, just so you know. Uh, the box of chaos, champions. Should you wish to use it, it is a free action. All you have to do is make a sacrifice to the box and in exchange a magic item of maybe a good rarity? We'll see. <laughs> you make can a I stop by the bank first? <laughs> <laughs> Your sacrifice can be anything. Just put some thought behind it. <laughs> can I sacrifice my opponent? <laughs> That has you happened. You can fucking try. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, without any further ado, then I think we've uh, we've gotten through the majority of the uh, the rigmarole. So let's get this thing going, champions. I need you both to roll for initiative. Click on that fist icon in the top right, and then click the the D twenty there. Please and thank you. Dang, you all roll high. 22 for Mad Castle Weary and a 20 for Professor Stabs. All right. Very well. Then let us... Is it too early to use a reaction? Uh, What's your reaction? <laughs> I would like to use something. <laughs> just, just, just you wait. I'd like to use Silvery Barbs to make you roll that initiative at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> You do yep. so. Yep. <laughs> you must reroll, Mad Cass. Please don't hit me. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna reroll. Yeah, just reroll it. We'll we'll take the higher of the two. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Eyes. All right, Professor Stabs coming in the lead now. All right, <sighs> Professor Stabs. Switching the initiative with that reaction. The crowd loves it. The acolytes are screaming your name, Professor Stabs, as they have triggered our first chaos event. Yes! Chaos! So, all right, I'm going to give this one to you, Professor Stabs. Upping our academic credentials here. Can you roll a d20 for me to see what chaos you will summon to our event for our beginning? Okay. Ooh, 16. 16 is... Oh, that's good. <laughs> it is a fan favorite. Dear Acolytes, you know how this goes. Empty your pockets. Whatever you have brought to this arena, I need you to throw it at the ground. This now becomes a game of dodgeball. Good luck, champions. Acolytes, tell me, what is it that you throw at them? And both of you will need to roll deck saving throws. Oh no! EC 17. <laughs> Swords, lightning bolts. Oh, we got Thor out here. What Dang. The fuck? <laughs> Dogs and is that a pizza? Pizza with pineapple. Oh, you lucky duck. Ah, uh, I don't know what some of those things are. Pasta? <laughs> I don't know what's above the pasta. Is that a Yeti? Full cans Bones? of Coke. Unopened cans of um, Coke right at your head. Ooh. Yes, special mushrooms. These nuts Could right at your head. Oh, tons of nuts. All these nuts coming at you. They put these nuts on my head? These nuts right <laughs> on your face. These, all of these. A moose, even? Oh, my goodness. Some cheese. <laughs> Woo! 24, the dexterity Woo! save. The 24 will save, so you will take half damage, but a 10, Mad Cass. In your anger, you don't even look up and see this array of objects coming down upon you. Green little frogs, hot dogs, milk pours down your back. I'm lactose intolerant! <laughs> Let me roll for damage. For both of you, this will be... Let's see here. I believe bludgeoning damage for us. Yep. So be careful. All right. <laughs> to start us off nice and Ooh. easy. 
15 points of bludgeoning damage. Now, uh, since you made yours for the half of that, you will take eight damage because we round up. Because we love pain here. Pain! So, so as as this bombardment of, of material sort of start falling at Cass, Cass uh, immediately turns up and just starts to sway like he's drunk uh, and begins to sort of slap uh, the projectiles out of the way as I'm going to use deflect missiles and um, I get to roll a d10 plus 15 in order to negate that much damage. Yeah. Which I negate uh, 18 points of damage. Okay. Uh, as I do, and because I exceeded it, I catch something. So I'm going to catch a glass of milk and I look at it and I say, who the fuck is throwing milk? <laughs> right? <laughs> and I point, I point up at this like dwarf that's just sitting there. Once I'm done with this fucker, I'm after you next. <laughs> you can skip me. You can go straight to him. <laughs> Blissful dwarf being called out. We'll see if you survive this match first, Cass. <laughs> All right. Well. I drink the milk, like, and then I eat the glass, hmm. like, and just <laughs> roll a roll a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> done. <laughs> you ate the glass. <laughs> roll a con save on that glass eating. You know what? You do uh, eat 17. that glass. You're, you've done this before. <laughs> Not your first time. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is well done. Is, this is I, great start here, Grandmaster. That is a hoot, and I'm very surprised. Let's go ahead and allow our champions to get started. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and kick it off for round number one, Professor Stabs. Right, right, me. I should go. Okay. Um, you're, you're 20 feet up. You have advantage on your attacks if they're ranged. Okay. Yep. They're, they're going to be because that's the best way to stab and not get stabbed. <laughs> words, oh, words of the wisdom. the first roll. And here's Ooh. the second roll. I'll take that 24. Nice. All right. 24 so and an you. 11. Using those beautiful psychic blades, describe this for us. Uh, you just see him concentrate really hard, and like a very shiny knife appears in his hands. He's like, eh, "Ooh, wah!" <laughs> and it's this, it's this uh, glowing purple and green uh, dagger that just immediately goes flying over. Ah, yes. uh, sick. And. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if that hits. Twenty four will hit. I don't believe eleven right. will though. Uh, so it was advantage. Oh, it was with advantage. Attacks. Sorry, yeah, yeah, okay. yep. yeah. You can click the uh, uh, roll damage button underneath your number, and it will oh, roll those nice. for you. Yeah. And because I rolled with advantage, I do get my sneak attack. Oh, that oh, rogue shit! Uh, and I uh, yeah, it's just gonna. That's right. Ah! Okay, so it, that's eight. He's still alive. <laughs> eight psychic. No, I'm fucking not. Come down here. <laughs> Jokes on you. Dead people don't talk. <laughs> gotcha. The trap. Got that him. is uh, that him. is eight psychic damage. Eleven from the sneak attack. So nineteen total. Okay. Uh, then after that, I'm going to use my movement. Uh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh. And then I'm going to use cunning action to move again. Wow. You take that. Move. Look at this. Oh, but he's keeping sorry. the high ground. I, I respect that. Yeah, this is good. 25, 30. It's going to make you use Currently, all that monk movement. You are now out of sight, but... You might be able to hear him screaming still. I don't want to get hurt. Pain is bad. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Mad Cass, how do you respond after getting stabbed? Uh, so uh, as, Ca uh, as Cass gets stabbed by this, this glowing blade, uh, he kind of looks down at the wound, which has no, like, real dagger. It's kind of like that psychic energy dagger. Mm -hmm. He kind of, like, tries to close up the wound a little bit, and it's like, 
Good thing I didn't wear my fucking good shirt today. Shit! Oh, I'm too fucking sober for this shit! Uh, and you watch as Cass uh, moves 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 foot to here. Whew. And Ooh. then we'll use the key action as a bonus action to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, yeah. 60 uh, to get to up here. Yeah, go for and it. And as he does so, you watch as he stands in front of this barrel that he was standing by the Arbiter, and he kind of smells the wooden oak, and he's like, fuck yeah. And I headbutt the, the barrel trying <laughs> to crack it open. Roll, yeah. a, roll a to hit with your an unarmed strike. See how sturdy Ooh. this barrel is. Yeah, yeah. That's a 14. Oh, yeah, you crack it open. And Cass is just going to, like, rip the wood off and spit out some splinters uh, and then basically just dip his hands in and just grab whatever alcohol's in there and just... Ugh. Fuck, I needed that. Question. How... This person is insane! Question about this. Want... I want to know, so you have hit and put your face basically in everything, eaten glass, smashed it into a barrel, but instead of dunking your head in, you thought, no, now I got to take it gentle, and you cup, you cup it towards you now is when you time to to take it it. gentle. I would have used my broken glass, but I ate it. I I have a question. Should have planned ahead. How, number one question, how drunk were you when you came into this thing? On a scale of 1 to 20, I was 19 drunk. Okay, and question number two. <laughs> question number two. How long have you been an alcoholic? Um, well, it all started when my dad went out for some cigarettes. Um, long time then, right? Okay. <laughs> Don't okay. give him a compelling backstory. I have to murder him. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to give you advantage because you have just bolstered your natural state at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're, you're feeding the demon, so I'm giving you advantage on your oh. next attack. Yes. All right. There we go. Uh, yep. And that is that is my my movement, my bonus, and my um, my standard to consume. All right. I'd like to cast intervention at third level. <laughs> <laughs> we all stop for the, a second. The, Even the acolytes come down. We're concerned about you. We form a circle <laughs> of metal chairs. <laughs> the material components are six to eight of his loved ones. And some cookies. This death battle was just a ruse. <laughs> <laughs> we got <gotcha>. you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, Grandmaster, that's the end of round number one, but we have another chaos event. Yes, we do. It is time for more chaos. So, Matt Cass, it is your turn. Roll that d20 for me and let us see what chaos we will summon tonight. Ooh, 14. Ooh, nice, 14. nice. They got the 14s today. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. As both of you currently on the roof, you feel the temperature start to rise. Like, start to feel very hot and sweaty. But as you look up, it's it's not the sun. It's a cloudy day out, and there's even a breeze. But the heat, it just continues to rise and rise with this humidity that feels like it's engulfing you. And you realize that the heat is not coming from above or across from some wind. It's coming from below. And as you look towards the ground, those cobblestones and those cracks and crevices, lava begins to seep up through them until all along the ground, the floor is lava. Holy shit, the floor is lava! (laughs) That was very good that y'all are already in the hike. So for four rounds, the floor will continue to be lava. You are welcome to try to make any jumps that you would like or magically poof wherever you'd like or build a bridge or stay safely far away and attack from range. Whatever you want, but be aware. It does hurt. Lava hurts. You all know enough of that. (laughs) So good luck, champions. This sucks. (laughs) 
No, okay. you fucking suck. Words hurt you, though. <laughs> Not more than I will hurt you. <laughs> I'm so uh, angry. <laughs> Professor Stabs, perhaps you could quell his anger with another stabbing. It is your turn, dear sir. <laughs> okay. Five, ten, fifteen. Can I, can I see him from here? Since you are both on the roof. Yes. Okay, well, luckily for me, I have the sharpshooter uh, feet. Um, so I'm going to sharpshoot your 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 body with sharp, pointy things. Um, no, good point. No, no offense. Um, good luck. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like, oh, we'll see if this hits. Ooh, a 12. Does a 12 hit, Mad Cass? It does not. A 12 does not hit. That is unfortunate. Um, well, <laughs> pretty awkward for me here. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus, ac uh, my bonus action to do another attack. Uh, Go for as it. you do so, as you do so, um, I have an ability called. Oh no, no, never mind. It's if I'm prone. I'm not prone yet. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't threaten us. All right. All right. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do here this time is we're going to do it with thirty percent less suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it sucked less. Yeah, 24. I, 24 hits. Correct, Madcast? That is correct. It okay. is. So, uh, I'm sure I don't get a sneak attack this time because <laughs> you saw it coming. Um, but what I would like to do, if I could, is I would like to uh, use a flourish, which will give me Wait, no, actually, I've used my bonus attack, so never mind. I'm just going to do the damage. Yeah. Go for it. Ooh. Ignore the ignore the sneak attack. It's just 11. It's just 11. Right. Uh, so you're actually throwing a dagger, though, yeah? Uh, it is my psychic dagger, yes. All right. Uh, can I use deflect missile on psychic daggers? <sighs> I don't see any reason why you can't. Yeah. Yeah, it would then materialize will... of sorts. Yeah. yeah if it's material so enough to add... hit you, then yeah. All right, I negate 17 points of damage as uh, Mad Cass uh, basically lifts up the uh, like the the little the lid that he smashed through and places it in front of his his face to hit the the dagger into the side of it. He kind of reaches to try and pull it out, uh, and he gets ready to try and throw it back, but it kind of disappears in his hand as he goes. Fuck! This stuff is strong. It's not fair! You're not supposed to catch him! You're supposed to get killed by him! Alright, so that'll, that'll only deal with your uh, body. Eight, eight points of damage in on that one. Uh, no, because there's no sneak attack damage. Oh, there's no yeah. sneak attack damage? There's yeah, no, no sneak, sneak attack damage. Oh, yeah, okay, yes. yeah, yeah, I got you. Missed that. Monks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking monks. Yeah. Uh, so I will, I will just use... Uh, Hand. The rest of my movement to get back there. That's it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> hey, Stabby! Professor! I'ma beat you to death with the Pl pink and yellow chili bin. Please don't! But is is uh, the chili good though? I, I, I'm, Cass is gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, now, I have an ability as a monk, improved unarmored movement. Because I'm not wearing armor, I yes. walk over liquid surfaces. Um, uh, I, yeah, I can basically walk over liquid surfaces. You can walk over them. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I, I mean, I can walk on hot coals, but it, it but can monks hurt. monks can walk on hot coals. Can, can <laughs> yours? <laughs> Maybe. I am a tiefling, so I mean... Oh, okay. Well, it hmm. would be fire damage. Um, hey, tieflings, tieflings take fire damage. No, they don't. They do, they do, they he do, they he do. is resistant to fire damage. Resistance. Okay, so half. All right. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yes. So you are going to take some fire damage from this. 
let's see here. So you walked basically like 15, 15 feet. 15 feet in lava. Yep. On lava. Okay. Let's make the distinction. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On, I, yeah. Lava. on lava. Yeah. The important on... thing is, is that I'm not sinking into it. Okay. So you will then take half of four. You will take two points. Ouch. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> You, uh, so you watch as Cass sort of uh, walks across the uh, the lava, and as he does, um, he grabs the uh, the ring of the side of this purple trunk, and I'm gonna start dragging it um, hey, where, over towards where, where the he is. Where the fuck do you think you're taking me? As a as a uh, shadowy figure peeks out the side, yellow eyes, beady little eyes and claws. What the fuck are you doing with my house? Shut the fuck up! If I want to listen to an asshole, I'll fuck. And I slam the lid shut. <laughs> Jesus and I, I'm gonna drag him. Um, I'm gonna drag, drag the chest. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, oh, um, yeah, let me give is you there a... an under. So from, from over here, is there an underpass? Uh, yeah, you could you could go through. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, if you're walking uh, on the ground, you're still walking to lava, though. This is all lava. Yeah, 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 I want to kind of, I want to kind of pass from from this side. To yeah, that yeah, side you like can that. get around the building that way. That's fine. You can go straight. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You can uh, just take so it I'll as a straight movement if you want. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. okay, so I'll end up there. For that okay. first uh, crossing yep. going back, you will take another lava yep. damage. And you're taking the box of chaos with you. All right. That will be four, four points. <laughs> yes. Done. Yeah, that I'm box taking the box with me. Smoldering, but you are dragging it along with you. It surprisingly isn't that heavy. Like it, it really is just the weight of the wood and metal trinkets on the outside of it. Inside, it almost feels like there. Sh it should be empty. Isn't it always oh, yeah, about the weight of the wood? <laughs> <laughs> I got a, uh, I got 20, 20 strength, so I'm not worried. I'm like, okay. uh, I'm like yeah. You're doing like push ups shit. with it as you like Ooh. carry it along. <laughs> okay. Anything Beautiful. else for your turn then? Uh, nope. I've used a one action to move across, bonus action to move back, and strength action, I imagine, to like pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you interacting with the box of chaos at all? No. You slam um, the, like slam the lid shut. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. That's because it was right. mouthy. <laughs> If that's what you'd like as to do, you, that's what you'd like to do. As you look down at that box as you're carrying it, you'll notice on the on the lid is a small heart carved into the side that says G plus V. Just as a just as a reference as you're looking at this box. Mm-hmm. And uh, Gin okay. and vodka. I got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How did you know? Gin and vodka. Alright, end of round number two, Grandmaster, Ooh. I got a roll coming in for you. Good, good. Your last one was an 18. I won't hide the fact that you rolled well. This one's a 13, which is it's not bad. decent. That's not it's bad. Not, it's not bad. I've seen worse. Doug kind of scoffs a little bit, but he's not moving out right now. Worried that he'll have to get another bath if he moves from his safe zone. We'll take the 13. Good enough. Go ahead and begin our round three. All right, champions. Round number three. Fight. I would like to cast fuck this at third level. <laughs> you can you can certainly try. Go I'll for cast, it. I'll cast an invisibility at second level. Okay. No, that's the appropriate name for it. Fuck this, I'm out. Oh. No, we're renaming invisibility. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> I just saw this guy headbutt a, a, a barrel, eat glass, yell at a demon. And now he's doing push-ups for no reason. I want to go home, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, can we go across this like little rope thing? Uh, you can yeah. try. Yeah, you can try. Oh, I don't like how y'all say it, man. <laughs> I mean, so this would be essentially a tight rope, you know, tight rope act. So you could give us an acrobatics to see if you can make it across. All right, here we go. One. Hot and ready acrobatic stretch and roll. Yeet. A 20? Oh, 30, 20. Yes. Yes. Nice. You have clearly been nice. in the circus before. You walk one foot in front of the other, standing upright, arms out in a balance. You know how to do this, and you make your way across easily. 
All right, and then I would just, uh, for my bonus action, I would like to hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Uh, he's, he's invisible. Hiding... Oh yeah. yeah, you're invis. Okay. <laughs> there. He's, he's hidden. That's a that's a, like a double disadvantage. Search for him. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> My stealth is twenty eight. Okay. I don't want good. to be here any longer. <laughs> <laughs> that's my turn. All right, yeah, he is. If, he even is, if I rolled a nat twenty, I couldn't find that. He is hiding, being one with the t one with the roof tiles. As it is Lindsay. now, it is now Maybe your this turn. Is all a dream. <laughs> Mad Cass, it's your turn. All right, so Mad Cass moves up to here. Okay. Um, as I have the um, uh, the improved movement ability, I can travel on vertical surfaces. Yep. Uh, so I climb. You watch as Cass sort of comes up to this wall and just with one arm just starts parkouring like rock climbing with one arm dragging the box up the top. She Jesus looks around, Christ! He's like, where the fuck are you? And It's uh, like being hunted by I'm Chuck Norris. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna slam the box down right where he was he was standing and I'm gonna use the interact action to try and use it. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna do, but I'm just gonna be like, like yeah, just try and just... just Okay, so you're you're trying to do what on this again? Sorry, one more time. Um, I'm slamming it on the ground where he was, and and opening it uh, at the same time. Okay, the box of oh, chaos. Okay. You're opening it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you slamming it on the ground where he was. Uh, I mean, make a where he was is in here, or where he was is in over here. Uh, where he was when I last saw him. Okay. Yeah, so over here. So over here. Yeah, I didn't see him go invisible. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna obviously miss that uh, the box clatters and the lid flips open and flames shoot everywhere. They have no heat to them. These are heatless flames. They just <laughs> shoot out the column. And uh, that shadowy figure stands up about waist high up in the box. You're a real fucking dick, you know? He's right. You are. <laughs> you sound like my fucking mom. Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe your mom was onto something. And uh, you need no therapy. He, he turns right over to where you're at, Noir, and he can he can see you invisible. He looks right at you. No, 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 no. I look over to where no, where where the little creature's looking. Make a uh, no, 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 make no, no, give no. me a give me a d10 roll, Noir. Oh no no. Oh. Uh, now roll Be me cool, a bro. now roll me a d100. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three. Oh my god. Uh don't don't oh my god and do that face. <laughs> let me let me just let me just you're gonna have to give me a minute on this one. You okay. don't have to have a minute! <laughs> While you have that minute, I did see you, Madcast. You had that one little spot here, so you will take another little hop of lava damage just uh, there. Yeah. Just a little, just a little one. Two points. A flavor. Just a little singe. As a treat. You're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you hear like a small group of cheerleaders just like fawn over you. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't see you. <laughs> Noir. I'm supposed to think, Look how hot he is. We can't even see him. <laughs> Yes. Noah, uh, roll me a d20, please. I don't like that. I have to keep rolling. <laughs> mm, you're good. Don't worry. You're going to like it. 16. 16. Okay. As as Gerald, the box of chaos, stands there staring at you. You know what? This guy's a dick. I'm going to help you out. Yes. And he, he reaches. <laughs> I heard that. You fuck. He reaches down into his box. <laughs> And he pulls out a spell scroll. <laughs> and he floats it to where you are, roughly. You can choose to take it or not. It's hovering in your general area, not right where you're at, but in the area. It is an eight level sunburst spell. Holy shit! <laughs> Yoink. All right. As, as the, the instant it goes invisible. Mad Cass reaches behind him and pulls out a boomerang. Yes! 
And then just you goes, Australian. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna yeet it now. Now here's the catch. I'm also gonna burn up two key points uh, for drunk luck. Uh, I negate any disadvantages that I would get from targeting you um, <laughs> with this attack. Okay. Yes, you are so drunk, so that oh, absolutely yeah. applies. <laughs> uh, you can't even so prepare. <laughs> Getting getting drunk is not does not give you superpowers. It gives cast superpowers. Yeah, let's um, the disclaimer <laughs> for everyone. This is a unique instance. He's trained his liver his entire life for this. Yes, this is not the same. <laughs> the only superpower I get from booze is regret and tears. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that is a, a twenty-one to hit. Sometimes Ooh. a spell of forgottenness, but it's on me instead. Ooh, fuck, twenty-one's gonna hit for him. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that, that hits me directly in my face, please. Uh, all right. So that is a total of six points of damage. I, I would like to use Uncanny Dive to only take half. All right. Absolutely. And as Three. the boomerang sort of comes upwards and clips you, like, in the jaw, uh, it swings into the air, and Mad Cass sort of reaches his hands up and just sort of... My face! <laughs> <laughs> and, and Six you, times you could in just... the tail on the asshole, winner. <laughs> you feel the sting on your face. It hurts. You don't have a mirror, but you know it's red. I mean, what hurts more is that he's equating this to pinning a tail on an asshole. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> he, he's lacking a significant amount of an anatomical knowledge about where tails actually go, I think. <laughs> he's, he's so drunk, yet still so competently mean. <laughs> Excels perfectly. <laughs> it really is a superpower. He might have his own professorship going on here. <laughs> I don't know if tenure is worth this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else for your turn, Cass? Uh, no, that is it. Uh, oh. Move action to get up here. Standard action to uh, to hurl the thing. Um, interact action and I. Oh, do I do I have a bonus action? I think I do. I haven't I haven't teleported or yeah. I'll dodge. I, I think you dodge. Okay, dodge action. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, an eleven grandmaster. Mm. We're yes. still above ten. <sighs> Solid tenor. Yeah, I know, I know. You're you're fine. That's fine. Adequate it's is what fine. I'm aiming for. It's fine. Yeah, you're. Right. That's a good way of putting it. Adequate, adequate, mm -hmm. good. Well, let's move on from this adequacy because that is not entertaining enough. Begin our round four for us. All okay, right. I'm. I'm going to make an acrobatics check again to go over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 24, you make that across. Very light on your feet. I I used to dance. <laughs> interpretive. Interpretive goblin dance. <laughs> I would I would like to. I mean, I don't I, it's not that I'd like to, but I'm going to uh, attempt to stab this very angry person. Good. Good. Good uh, plan. I have advantage, but he's dodging, so I, it's just going to be a straight roll. Got it. Yep. Uh, hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Said with such conviction. <laughs> that sounded like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 19. Practice 19 hit. Uh, and I would also like to uh, use defensive flourish. Ooh. Uh, May. A rogue and a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Defensive flourish, eh? Uh, as soon as I find it, here it is. <laughs> it should be in the thing. Uh, so I'm going to add 1d... Uh, 1d8, I believe. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I can double check it, but I'm just gonna believe you. Yeah, yeah I'm inclined to just believe you. Yeah, sounds reasonable. So we're, we're adding that to the damage. Okay. 
Uh, because all is invisible, it attacks with advantage. Uh, it is a sneak attack, so that's 28 damage total. And right. the additional six from my defensive flourish is now added to my uh, AC until the end of my next turn. Okay. Oh. Woo. Woo. Nice. That's a That's solid nice. AC there, then. Uh, yes. I, and then I would like to use my bonus action. What was the total damage to... on that one? Sorry. Uh, no problem. I can't stop talking like this. 26. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I would then like to use my bonus action to run away again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm going to disengage. Fuck. <laughs> run away. Athletics acrobatics check. Yep, yeah, here it As comes. As you dance your way across the wire. Please don't murder me. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. It's a net one! <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a second. Oh Lord, I think I have something for I'm gonna this. I'm gonna just tell you, unless it's something specifically to Nat Ones, we accept those because we love pain first and foremost. What you I, got? I put it in I put it in the chat. It's called okay. uh side bol bolstered Mac. If you fail an ability check using a skill or a tool which your proficiency uh, you have proficiency. Oh, it just adds to the roll. Never mind. It's a net, it's a net one. I'm screwed. <laughs> ah, As you begin stop. to run across, your confidence was so high because you had made it multiple times before, but that right foot doesn't quite land it. Your pinky just barely grasped it as you swing down underneath, hanging by your tiny toe till you release it and you fall head first. You are going to take some fall damage for us. Like Icarus, I have fallen by my hubris! I flew too close to the sun and now I pay the ultimate price! Grandmaster, it's a little dramatic, don't you think? I, I I've love been it. humbled! <laughs> seems Go seems a little a touch dramatic, but okay. Let's get some fall damage roll in there. Arbiter, can you do that for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about 10 feet we're falling. Yeah. Six, six bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Did you smack the your head there. I heard both the left and right cheek simultaneously. And you are you are currently prone right now. Uh, do you have to do you have to make con saves for your invisibility, or is it is it not? Oh a con? no, it went away the moment I stabbed the man. Oh yeah, that's right, that's Wait, right. Never mind, my bad. <laughs> I forgot about the stabbing. <laughs> All right, your butt cheeks aching. You are on the ground. Ow! You may hold them to comfort you if you like. <laughs> Feel free to hold I your own butt cheeks. I would like. I would like to hold my own butt cheeks at second level. <laughs> Do you have any spell slots? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, a small side note, because the Grandmaster was having this conversation earlier with some acolytes. If you had a second pair of butt cheeks, where would you put them on your body? For both of you, out of curiosity. Uh, I'd put a butt cheek on both shoulders. Right here. That was, yes. So you look good and strong? Wait, you want... So you look good and strong, and when you lean on the wall, it's like you're sitting. Are you saying you want butt boobs, Dag? I do want butt boobs. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. I reckon my, nice. my I reckon I reckon my Twitch stream channel would just go through the roof if I had if butt I boobs. Had butt boobs. Mm -hmm. Listen, you came here for boobs, but you're getting a butt. <laughs> yes, Surprise! yes. They look like boobs. <laughs> but they just hide the asshole. You know that's Oh you thought you were you thought you were a boob guy. Surprise! <laughs> will there will will there be a tail growing out of that asshole? <laughs> Because that's where the tails grow, right? Only until, you, only until you flush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill him now. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, Grandmaster, I think uh, I think that's uh, yeah. That's yeah, a, it's Cass's. Yeah, let's, let's quick keep Cass's turn. From that. Oh, okay, yeah. right. time to move on. I think Cass, um, <laughs> Cass looks down at the crumpled up pile of rogue and will uh, will sort of um, put his hands in his pocket and jump down from the roof. With slow fall, I take no damage as I land right next to him, like, gracefully. Um, I'm going to look down at him. 
I'm gonna hey. smile and look kind of with the shadows of the alleyway just kind of covering his face, except for these glowing yellow eyes and this re- really wide, puckish grin. Um, I'm going to grab Please him by the me. ankle. Ah! Uh, use a key step. Oh! And then throw him into the lava. No! <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. All right, roll, roll a... Uh... <laughs> Beautiful. Roll a strength with this, or, or uh, use my athletics. Yeah, you can use your athletics. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Use your athletics. To see if you're able to to do this. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Right now, his AC is a twenty-two. Uh, would I have adva- uh, Well, uh, would I have advantage because he's prone? He is prone. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead with advantage. Thinking through it. That ankle's easy for you to grab. It's so dainty, though. Please be careful with it. <laughs> You shouldn't have had your ankles showing in the first place. <laughs> you know, I, I'm uh, dressed this way because it's how I All feel. Right. You're, you're able to... Uh, you're beautiful, don't change. You're able to drag him over here with you, but he is ah! clinging on. You're not quite able to get him off into the, into the lava. I just don't want to okay. go in the With that soup. first swing. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Then with my... Let's see. What do I have? <laughs> Okay, when I hit a creature, nope, that's fine. Because that right, was. So I'm gonna use another key point and just uh, remain. Defense. I don't know what these key points are, but could you stop using them? Bad things happen when no. you do. <laughs> yeah. All right. So key point uh, to uh, to uh, stay defensive. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> All right then. And uh, as uh, uh, Cass looks, Cass looks over to you and says, "Hey man, listen. You don't have to worry about me. You and I, we're friends." Oh, we are? Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're real good friends. Close friends. It Roll persuasion. I like or that. Okay. deception, depending on what it is. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of kind of you know warm Just and it, fuzzy. Yeah, go ahead and Look. keep it persuasion. We'll keep it secretive. All Whatever right. you may be with your motives here. 13. 13. As oh, a yeah, counter, he's... yeah, yeah. As yeah. a counter, he's, he's... let's go ahead and like. Oh, sorry, I, I was gonna say he is he is very, not very subtle about what he's gonna do. This is kind of the same vibe you'd get from like you know a bully in a tavern putting his arm over you, like trying to get you to buy the next drink by saying you're friends. You know, there's there's definitely some there's some underlying aggression there. Roll a roll an insight, Professor Stabs, to to see if you're picking I'm up on gullible. this. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you pretty are. He yep. seems sincere to you. Uh, you know, take that for the what you friends. will. <laughs> the rest of us know, though. <laughs> I've always wanted a friend. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Can I tell you about my childhood? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think we have oh, time yeah, for no, that. No, tell me everything about your childhood. Huh? Perfect. Perfect. You know what? I... I want to give a little bit of time for them to savor this little friendship moment. Arbiter, do you think we could take a quick 10 minute break? You just, I, I just don't see why not. Stew in it. Okay, yeah, good, just good, good. Let them work it out while we, you know, come back and hopefully they'll have killed each other by then. Yes. My and name and will that slips before it'll stabs. Uh, you know, I, I will absolutely, uh, Cass will absolutely listen to every single word of, of, um, of Professor Stabby's backstory. Like, Every word. <laughs> a lot of nodding. <laughs> intently listening. <laughs> All right, then. Do you take notes? Uh, no, no, he doesn't care, but he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very well. As you pretend to care about his life experiences, we will take a 10-minute break, and we will see you when we get back.
that I never got to eat any pinata birthday candy. And a shadowy tear drops down from his from his cheek. Suck it, nerd. <laughs> He's eating the last can- piece of candy in the in the shadow's face. <laughs> As it dies. Uh, as he whisked away. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, welcome back to D20 Deathmatch. Here we are over a pit of lava. Professor Stab spilling his entire life story to Cass. Mm -hmm. Very well. What round are we in? Round number five? This is round number five? five. I feel like it's about 60 after the story's done. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I didn't get the name Stabs until an unfortunate accident. Uh, good question, Stabs. <laughs> are you a very dynamic speaker or uh, in your professorship? Have you just been more of one that drones on? Because Look. we might have to roll to see if <laughs> Cass is asleep. Well, there is a tome called Rate My Professor, and on the tome, I've been, t I've had former students and alumni alike, uh, they all have said that I have something of a droning uh, sort of uh, teaching style. Many of them say that uh, my lectures can go on a bit too long. I just like to make sure that I'm thorough with the information that's provided, and I want to make sure that I don't leave any crevice on unchecked when it comes to stabbing because stabbing theory did is someone, very important. Did someone Most say crevice? Think it's just... no. <laughs> um, Where yes. the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? Um, I remember something around rape my professor maybe? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just something I just had a dream. It was a crevice and a <clears throat> something, something about... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. Wake up, everyone. Acolytes. <clears throat> Get up. Come on. No, no, no. Wake uh, up. Wake up. <clears throat> I'm very awake. Uh, <laughs> yes, and we all are. Uh, round number five. Uh, <clears throat> Professor Stabs. Oh, right. I'm being I'm being held um, by my well, friend. No, yes. I, I, I'm not holding you anymore. I've just kind of dragged oh, okay. you over here. Now I'm just standing looming over you. Right. So, you know, no. I just... I don't know if we could get out of this by not attacking each other like do you know who we should go talk to by heck by chance i mean i've told you so but i told you about Juanita, my secret crush on Juanita. she's she's the uh professor of slashing uh very <laughs> very uh sounds sexy you know, uh, well uh, you know there are other things that i appreciate about her of course yeah you but gotta she, be oh, careful yeah, no, she I'm, cuts I'm, through hearts like nothing that's true that's true well, i mean that like, was as a soon pun as i got <laughs> as, as, as look, as soon as as soon as uh, as soon as any dame gets bitten by a radioactive short sword, right? It's it's just trouble from there on out, you know. It's yeah, cool. I, you know, I understand. So you know what? Why don't we take this conversation over here? And he's gonna walk by you. I will gladly let this trigger an attack of opportunity because he's just like we're friends. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm going to I'm going to absolutely use that opportunity to uh, to. to uh, now here's what I've got because I have Tavern Brawler, uh, yes. and sorry, I have Tavern Brawler oh. and Grappler. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to um, to petition in a, in uh, in exchange for my damage to uh, if I succeed in both the attack and the grapple to yes. uh, hurl him into the lava. Yeah. 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 That seems yes. fair. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Let me make oh. you <gasps> yes hero points. I forgot what other thing. Yes, you both have been granted hero points. What this means for both of you is that you have one opportunity to go above and beyond, to go extra, maybe an action surge, maybe a reroll on something that you have failed horribly at, maybe to do something that shouldn't be doable according to your spell set or your attack, but you're gonna make it happen. This is your chance to dream big. You are chugging that energy drink and getting all the power. Here's the thing, you have it. Just make sure you use it before you die. Okay. Yeah. So well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use mine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try this. Fair enough. Try, try this just as is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Let's. That's a twenty-four to hit. That's gonna hit. Yes. Yeah. What, what are you doing, buddy? Whoa! That's, I like, can't help but notice <laughs> that you're approaching the lava that I just walked away from. He says, "Uh, I'm gonna teach you." Uh, a new stabbing technique from where oh. I come from. Yeah. Okay. See, what? Uh huh. You see, first of all, yep. I throw you down to hell. And then when you get there, 
Where, where does you the tell, stabbing happen? You, 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 you tell those, those naked, angry imps that are gonna be kicking your ass harder than I do, those tiny pointed pitchforks aren't good for stabbing. And I'm gonna, gonna hip throw him into the lava. Okay. <laughs> no, as you are being purposely thrown in, not gently walking or even having a chance for that, you are going to take 13 points of fire damage as it begins to lick away at your flesh, poor little goblin. I'm going to say you gave him a good, a good toss out there. Nice. Right in the middle. Trusted you. <laughs> I listened to you. This this lava will be difficult terrain, by the way. Your movement will be halved. Okay. Um. So I've trail. moved. I moved ten so far. So I'm gonna five, ten. All right. Then I'll use my my cunning action for that little fire damage. You're gonna take six points of fire damage as you try to get your way out. Every part of this is unpleasant! <laughs> I'll use my bonus action to get back up there. Okay. Even your dainty ankles are a bright red now from this lava eating away at your skin. How, how could you? <laughs> He's going to cast hold person. I need Ooh. you to make a wisdom save, which it's it's a monk. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, well, you'll be surprised. Wisdom I, uh... saving throw. Always a chance. Ooh, that is <gasps> a ten. That is a fail. Ooh. <laughs> um, I would like to petition my hero point here. Yes. Yeah. Would you like to reroll um, that? Uh, well, no, no, no. Well, I mean, maybe. Let me Depends. Go and how, say how, what how you'd like to say. Points. Well, uh, what I'd like to do is that as as Cass uh, is held person, um, there is kind of almost like an auto autonomic reflex uh, that occurs here. Um, Cass is a naturally violent individual and has fought punch drunk and unconscious before, even even like completely devoid of all of his senses. Um, I would like to either, if the power of a hero point will allow me to do so, uh, add the blinded condition to my character, as in I cannot perceive and there's, you know, that concealment bonus that, of course, Professor Stabs would get, but I can still function and attack and stuff like that because that's just unconscious or unmovable cast, like, kind of flicking around. Or, um, as a kind of, uh, last action, I'm gonna kind of take a huge stance to stamp the ground and try to break the, um, the, um platform that he's on okay so to recap the first option is that you choose to go blinded in response yep. to this and you allow yourself to fall into that purely drunk unconscious state yeah okay you know what i'm gonna go for that i think that's fantastic in that space yes you know enough that as that begins to grapple at you you knock your head against it real hard to help blind yourself and knock yourself into unconsciousness full throttle. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's handling it all sorts of wrong, but it works. All right, that's a that's a great use of a hero point. <laughs> all right. Uh, at this point, uh, the unconscious cast is like just swaying back and forth. Uh, and as he does so, um, he starts by leaping up onto the wall here uh, as he moves up both his legs and one hand like are kind of placed along the wall. And he is going to try and just basically swing outwards and punch, falling both with him and Professor Stabs back into the lava. <laughs> you get back um, in the fiery water! <laughs> as a, as a, your as, Okay, as I am blind, I am at disadvantage. However, I'm going to burn key point uh, to um, use my drunken luck uh, okay. and cancel the disadvantage. Very okay. good. I'm then also going to discard one key point and turn this into a stunning strike. Yes. And yes, use those key points. Spend them. I'm like you're made to... of them. As a reaction, I would like to use... <laughs> 
uh, silvery barbs to make that a uh, disadvantage again. <laughs> so I, I negate disadvantage. So it's not that oh, I give myself disadvantage, advantage, okay. I just negate it. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, so no reaction used. That is a 28. Ooh. 28 is going to hit. I think that's a little close, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Fort save. All right. So you, you are oh, punched. Sorry, a punch. fort save. A con save. Yes. And what is it? All right. Give us that con save, Professor. What oh. will you give us? Uh, your con? Yeah. Yes. Con oh, save. Donkey. Con save. Oh, Flurb. God. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Something's supposed to be happening. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. Woo, an 18. 18. All right, so you are not stunned as you are clocked square in the jaw. Uh, My body. Now, bo now both he and Cass, uh, well, the intent is to, to knock both he and Cass into the lava. Okay, make a... Uh, yep. mm, you don't have a feature that pushes him though, right? So make a, make a dexterity... Uh, well, I yeah. do have an auto grapple. You do have an auto grapple? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so if I'm moving, I'm kind of grappling him along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good then. Okay. Both. Okay. Can I make an argument for Uncanny Dodge helping me avoid this? Uh, you can avoid the damage from his strike, which you, you got to roll the damage on your strike, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think oh, yeah, you that can. That was a seven damage. Oh, it was seven damage? Okay. Seven damage. Um, you could avoid that damage, but I don't because he's got the auto grapple and he's pushing himself right at you. I don't think that you could avoid being oh. grabbed by him right in that situation on that ledge. Now with a hero point, I was gonna say if it's worth it to well, you. With a hero, well, think big if you want to do something with it. I don't put ideas in your head. That's all on you. This <laughs> is. We got none. These we're we're two empty I, ones. That's why what? we invite I, you. I think the betrayal <laughs> is going to spark uh, an enhanced uncanny dodge. Uh, so I would like the I would like him to. Uh, if he's he's getting hit, but he's going to spin out of the way like a bullfighter to uh, toss Cass into uh, the oh. lava. And I'd like mm, him to like nice. slip one dagger <laughs> as he does it. Just like a spin move, throw a dagger. Yeah, I think I think that's a great use of a hero point. The little switcheroo here. All right. Let's we're gonna give you a chance to do this. Okay. Alright, here see. we go. I trusted you! <laughs> Okay. I, I gotta, sh I gotta show y'all what this this role look like. I'm so <laughs> upset. I'm so upset. Um, <laughs> so with a, uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> gross. It's right on the edge. That hurts. That hurts the heart <laughs> so with, much. With a, uh, okay. with a, with an eleven, you're not gonna get that dagger off. But with your hero point on Candy Dodge, you are able to kind of sidestep you know bullfighter him so he falls All into right. that uh, that lava you, you remain you had mentioned that you were a dancer right so that improv dancing comes into play as your quick feet do a beautiful twirl around dancing around his confusing him before you do that switch Improvish raccoon ha! <laughs> that's the name of uh, the dance move <laughs> Uh, I still have remaining movement um, okay, from sure. this, um, and I'm going to, because I can climb up vertical surfaces, climb mm -hmm. up the beam, yep. and I'm going to use my extra attack to then try and basically hit him in the back and then suplex him backwards into the lava. Okay, yeah, go oh, for it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are determined. He really wants you in this lava. <laughs> this is, who's going Hero down, points are like burning. Man, I, Mufasa I didn't say, fight this hard with Scar. Come on. That is a miss. By approaching, does he activate an attack of opportunity perchance? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't think so. Leave. It's only if he okay. leaves. Yeah. 
So you come um, up, you are gonna miss that on that swing though, as he's still kind of and, sliding out of your your reach. Yeah. And then as a bonus action, using uh, my key point, I will flurry a blows to do it again. All right. Go. Go for it. You just keep climbing up for this. All right. Oh. That will hit. Twenty-seven. That'll hit. Uh, so that is. Are you hitting him once or twice with those flurries? Uh, so I'm hitting him twice. So that's the first one. Okay. And then... And 20 for the second. That'll hit. Uh, that's six. Right. 17 total points of damage coming into you, bludgeoning. Oof, 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 oof. And then twenty six to drag him back into the lava. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I think you're gonna be able to do it at that point. <laughs> so you're able to you're able to drag him back in the lava with you. Hey. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically gonna put him on the opposite side to where he is now. So basically, okay. I'm I'm so I'm back flipping into the lava gotcha. with him underneath me. All right, let's do some fall fire as you both land into this lava. <laughs> Technically, so Cass, you had landed and then you crawled back up to pull him back down. So there's going to be first the three six on that initial fall. Yep. And then we will roll again for oh, both of I... you being in, and you will still take half as a tiefling. So half a thirteen, yep. you'll take seven points of damage there. Now yep. for both of you on this one, Cass taking half, stabs taking full fourteen. Seven and fourteen to each of you. It burns. It burns. So, you know. Uh, and, and now Cass is kind of um, like the way I want to kind of do this is Cass is kind of almost uh, over the top, straddle, still unconscious, and just looking like he's just about to start just laying into him, into the into the lava and into the dirt, like just with his eyes closed. Like... Okay. Still <laughs> unconscious. It's a that's solid. Fine. That was a solid round number five. Yeah, that's terrifying. All right, roll coming in, Grandmaster. Ooh, a sixteen. Very I good. For, I forgot about I forgot about the hold spell, or else my attack would have been an advantage. But that's okay. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> With that roll, Arbiter, that will be enough to trigger your chaotic event Ooh, as the arbiter stands <laughs> up from the crowds oh it's been a little bit uh, this is kind of getting boring honestly he's gonna reach out with his hand to the middle of this uh, arena and as he does he's gonna focus for a moment and you feel the wind around you kind of start to move start to get sucked in and almost it's almost as if the the sound around you as well begins to into a vacuum as the sound around you and everything stops stops moving for a moment and then starts to suck inwards towards the building in the middle of this map as he snaps his fingers a giant energy well bursts into that middle sucking the entire building into a compressed black hole as the Arbiter opens a rift in space and time here, sucking in that building, and it is uh, it's sucking in all of the lava with it, everything in the middle of this arena just now. And again, just for a moment, all of that sound, all of that energy just stagnant. But then you start to feel the pull on your own body. I need you both to make me a strength saving throw, or... Strength or Dex. I give you the choice. Yeah. <laughs> now, now this fight sucks. Net twenty. Net <laughs> twenty. Woo! That was a joke, everyone. <laughs> that was my. That was my pun. I didn't want anyone to miss it. But yes, net twenty. I also don't want to diminish it. <laughs> okay. Net twenty for Cass. Cass, you do not move at all. Your feet are planted. You're blindly swinging. But, Professor Stabs, you will get dragged 20 uh, with, feet towards this black hole. With my natural 20, can I keep a hold of him? 
If you would like to try to keep a hold of him, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's so funny. I'll, I'll, can, I'll, I, can I actually use being pulled to get out of the grass? Strength versus strength. Because I mean, you also gotta argue you... for acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, because you, you, yeah, you are still being grappled by me. Uh, strength, strength versus acrobatics. I'll let you do it if you're trying to wiggle out. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, that was awful. Yeah. An eleven. Oh. Versus a thirty. Thirty. That's why you asked for that acrobatic. All right, you you hold on to him. You had him grappled, but the pull of this black hole in the middle of this arena is too strong. You will get an attack of opportunity, though, as he gets pulled out of your reach. All right, so, so, so Cass, as he's on his knees, right, with, um, with um, Professor Stabby kind of being sucked away, he reaches out with his right hand and tries to grab him, but uh, Stabby kind of rotates his body and pulls free the bit of cloth that he has. As he does so, Cass then grabs onto some of the uh, the, the flooring, which is now uh, you know kind of charred and a little bit warped because of the the lava. But I imagine still quite malleable and soft. As he slams his hands into the roads, he then moves his right leg and twists his body to try and kick Stabby in the neck and attempt to do an unarmed strike uh, and um, try to grab him with it. Uh, I'm going to burn the last of my. Uh, key. Yep. Yeah. Uh, to negate the disadvantage from the uh, the blinding. Uh, sorry, the uh, the negative the, from the blind. Okay. And yeah. that is a twenty Ooh. to hit. Yep. Look at this dicing it up. Foot meat face. That Twelve points of damage as a foot <laughs> hits you, but then immediately. The second leg tries to get you into a scissor hold around the neck as I try a free grapple attempt. Ooh. Okay. 12 points of damage. <gasps> 28. 28. He's going to be able to grapple you here. Again. Uh, so now instead of being grappled under his arms, uh, Cass is dug into the ground uh, and the legs are like wrapped around his neck. Okay. All right, Gee. then. Whew. I don't even know what round this is anymore. What is this? Six? Seven? A hundred? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Six? As the black hole sucks in all of the debris in this field of battle, it also sucks away your initiative. I need you to re-roll initiative. We're starting afresh. Mostly because I you know, can't keep track of the, score or the, the rounds. Yes. That too. That too. All right. Ooh, dang. With Nine a, versus 22. With a new initiative, Professor Stabs able to go here in a brand new round number one. You both are being actively pulled in by this black hole uh, <laughs> every round. So you go ahead and uh, you, go okay. ahead, you go ahead and think about that. Okay. You just think about that. I am going to. Uh attack uh, and i have advantage because you are under the effect of the whole person spell uh but disadvantage because you are grappled flat roll neutral 18. will hit that'll hit it should still be sneak attack damage though because yes. you are blinded yep. uh yeah you technically <laughs> roll with advantage so yeah you would uh, you would still have sneak attack And on top of that, we're going to be adding Fury of the Small. So that's an additional 12 damage. Oh, dang. Being tidy rocks. Uh, right. and, and we're also going to add to that another Flourish by expending a Bardic Inspiration. Uh, well, just before you, you get into that, uh, as you, you stab Cass, uh, this time uh, Cass's eyes kind of open, but he's still very unconscious. His mohawk begins to glow with these bright flames, and as they rise up, they kind of create this long kind of like almost like a punk rock mane. And as they do so, it is made of pure fire, orange, red, and pinks, as it then whips out and lashes towards you with hellish rebuke. Oh. Gotcha. I do believe that is a dexterity save, correct? Yes. Uh, it is, yes. And so that's 32 damage coming into you, Cass. Oh. Yep. Uh, so I have evasion, so I take nothing. 
Ooh. Um, Damn. Dang. That's On a top. response. Uh, no, we'll no, never get that grappled, from you. You are grappled. Uh, can you, are, you evade? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, there's nothing in the rules that says. Okay. But you still have disadvantage. When you're subject. Okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah. yeah. This feels like a game of Uno where it's like, draw two. This you is so many trying to one-up each before. other. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, 21. Um, and adding to the damage here, we're going to do... Let's make this a... Oh, Sorry, dang. one second. Yo, the builds on these, y'all are wild. I do this, I do that in response. Well, I also do this. This is insane. This is what we're talking about. We're all getting a lesson we're, here. We are going to make this a mobile flourish. Ooh. Uh, you can expect one of your bardic inspiration to cause the weapon to deal extra damage uh, to, uh, to the target. The damage equals the number I roll on my bardic inspiration. You can also push the target up to five feet away from you. Plus the number of feet equal to the roll on your die. Then you immediately use your reaction to move up to your uh, walking speed. On, uh, uh, to an unoccupied space within five feet. So I'm breaking free of your grapple. Um, Does that break free of the grapple without a check? Mm-hmm. Wow. So we're going to add another... Two points of damage, which means we're moving you five feet backwards. I'm going to move you right over here. Well, actually... No, I'm going to move you on the other side of me, right here. Oh, that would be, you'd be moving him more than five feet if you move him there. Okay. Because that's, that's ten. All right, then I'll move him where I am, because I'm going to switch spots with him. Okay, you swap spots with him? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, as a reaction, I get to move my movement speed. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, and I have not taken a bonus action, so I'll be using cunning action. 5, 10, 15. <laughs> Does your mobile feet allow you to disengage as well? Uh, correct. Your flourish? Okay, just checking. 25, 30. So I'll be moving here. Big movement. All right. Uh, so was that. I feel like that was a round in and of itself. No, that was the first turn. I need you to make a uh, to make a dex or uh, or strength saving throw. Your choice. Who me? Yeah. Into your okay. into your turn. I need you to make a saving throw, a dex or strength. Your choice. Uh, let's do dex. Is, this black hole is this still. <laughs> oh my gosh! I would like. <laughs> What would you like? <laughs> the dice Let's do see. give it to you. <laughs> Tell me what you'd like you, with a nat one. You do all that you want, but that nat one has come oh, calling. Oh, it's on the next roll. Never mind. So yeah, I, nat, just, I just take that one. Nat one, that black hole. You do this move and you fight your way out with a critical failure. You're going to be pulled double the distance back towards this black hole. 40 feet. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Can, can, can I say that Cass uh, is oh going my to God, do something dude. Uh, epic as he falls, pulling towards him? Uh, I'm going to do a roundhouse kick to use the momentum that he's flying towards me to just clock him in the jaw. So do you get an attack of opportunity on force movement? Because I thought no, you no, 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 no. Not no, when you enter. The, this is just his turn. Because okay. yeah, okay. he's yeah. done hellish rebuke anyway for his reaction. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. So this would just yeah. be the start of his turn. You Got failed you. that check the, at the end of your turn. The black hole is pulling you in. He's going to try to kick you as you come in. Got Those you. dice, they got you. Yeah, you can, you can flavor they that kick you. however you want. All right, sweet. Freaking that so one. As, yeah, so as you, as, as you come up, there's, there's just this kip up slice kick that sort of uh, tries to hit you in the jaw. That is a 19 to hit. Uh, silvery barbs. You're gonna roll that with advantage, uh, disadvantage. Ah. Uh, very well. Lash out. That is a <laughs> 27. Cool, cool. All right. That'll hit. That'll hit. All right. Do your damage, sir. All right. So that is seven points of damage as he is cool. kicked. All right. And then I'm gonna try and grapple him. 
Uh, 18 as uh, that foot comes down and I try to sort of arc it to land yeah. next to where I am. I think that I think that will grapple. The 18, yep. So on a grapple check, do I get any opposing roll to not be grappled? On your grapple, does it say an opposing? I thought yours was an AC check. Is it not, Dag? Uh, let me just check here. Double check that one for me. Uh, it says. Oh, sorry. No, it says attempt to grapple target. So yeah, he does get an. Okay, so he check. does get. Okay. He does get an athletics. Okay. Yep. Go Pull ahead. Pull that athletics. I thought your feet allowed you to just grapple with uh, the AC check. No, no, no. I have. I have been rolling them. I. I just presumed I, that yeah. there was something at play. Gotcha. Go for it. Go for it. A nineteen. Uh, okay, that is a. That's. Oh, sorry. One better. Yep. No, 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 that was my... No, that was the grapple. Yeah, yep, so yeah. that's one better. So you are not grappled here. Um, I'm then going to use my extra attack to uh, strike. Actually, no, I'm going to use my unarmed strike to get the... Uh, yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. So extra attack here. Everyone's pulling out all the cards. Hey, man, we're, we're out of hero points. We're out of key points. Ooh, Ooh that is Ooh. a natural one. Oh, sorry. Am I not blinded anymore? Oh, no, you did, still did are. Did you open your eyes? I thought you said earlier that you had opened your oh, eyes. I did, but he's still unconscious. Yeah, sorry, oh, okay. he's still unconscious. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it, his eyes are open, but like that, that was just a flare of power. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Still, still unconscious. Fair unless, uh, how do I break the, the hold person? You, just... you would have to roll at the end of each turn. Mm -hmm. You yeah. could roll that wisdom save. save. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I haven't, I, I haven't rolled yet, but that's fine. Uh, that's, uh, so that is a natural one on that, that hit. Did you just ask if the natural one would hit? No, you no, said no. it was oh, a natural one. Oh, I'm like, will you? It's a natural one. Will it hit? <laughs> no. That's how cold I am, y'all. No, I'll, get, that, I'll give you a natural one. And that one should still hit them, right? They're pretty easy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. Mm. I believe in this. <laughs> Everything in my body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else for your turn, Cass? Uh, yes. Uh, I get a unarmed strike as a bonus action, so I'm gonna hit him a third time. Okay, hit him. Ooh, cool, cool. I'll try Do it. it! Deal that damage! Never give up! 14! Uh, Does it hit? No! Uh, no Does wait, not wait, hit. Well, that was supposed to roll the disadvantage. I don't know why it didn't, but yeah. Uh, alright, so yeah, this time, this time, again, another, another miss. This time, the blindedness is really kind of getting the cast, as, uh, while he does, while he does manage to land that first hit, the second one, the fist is just completely in the wrong direction, and then he turns around, he swings again at another completely incorrect direction. Um, he is still, like, again, completely on autopilot here. Um, make make that wisdom, wisdom save if you want. Yep. yep. <laughs> Only if you want to. It's up to him. Some people think 14. it's like a hug, and if you haven't been loved very often, maybe oh, you might mistake it. I need to 16. Still, yep, not, still dude, blinded. Not and if this is the end of your turn, I need you to make either a strength or a dexterity saving throw. Your choice. Uh, all right, I will make a strength check. Right there on the pool of that vortex. Woo, 27. All right. With a success, you will only be pulled half the distance in. So you'll be pulled 10 feet as you get oh, into the edge of this oh, sorry, pool. I, uh, I, 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 the end of mine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. As you get pulled into the edge of this black hole, you start to feel your body being torn apart. Your, your movement speed is halved as you are in the edge, edge of this black hole. Yes, yes. You will make, have to make a strength save uh, to get out of this area if you want to move out. That'd be a uh, DC 17. Okay. I think this is round round number two in the new order. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Here we go. Kill uh, them. Make this our final round. I'm doing the best I can, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want your PhD or not? I really, really do. The student loans alone are killing me. <laughs> Those loans are never going away. You might as well jump in this black hole, bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's better, trust me. I feel that. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> uh, Arbiter rolled a 14. What's going to happen? Am I going to die? Oh, it's your turn. It's your turn. That's just uh, that's for internal purposes, oh. for internal accounting purposes. Don't worry about it. Okay, no, I'm, I'm very worried about it. <laughs> um, I am going to pull out a, a sheet of paper 
that I received earlier today. Oh. And I'm going to start to read the words from it. <laughs> and I'm going to cast an eighth level star sunburst um, directly on my very angry friend here who betrayed me. Okay, Constitution saving throw. His DC is a 16, I believe. Yes. All right, Constitution saving throw casts. All right. And I have a question, Ken. Do you allow people to do use reactions on their turn? I mean, it, it's it's your reaction, yeah, sure. Uh, that's a nine. Never it, mind. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> a nine on a on a fail. You will take the full twelve d six damage. May your yeah. anger fuel you and shield you. This Good could be this luck. could be very bad. Cast. I told you everything about my life, you son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> you can uh, you can just, as I said, he rolled it. It's legit. It's it. <laughs> you can click the six and then uh, and then just type change the one to a twelve. Oh well, shoot. Uh, <laughs> as exciting as that I was. I misread the spell. <laughs> I was gonna say, out of all those, twelve will be ah! forty-five. <laughs> points of damage comes in do you have any reactions Cass? Uh, not unless this counts as a ranged attack it does well, a, i would count this a spell as a spell attack it's not oh, really a like range you can't like catch it yeah no 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 no, no. Def yeah no it's 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 the deflect uh, yeah you're not able to deflect this spell that's the only thing i got as this beam of radiant sunlight energy comes in dealing 40 Five damage your body pff, racked with this elemental force pushed into another elemental force this small sun that he creates around your body along with your Sorry. body gets sucked into the black hole uh, as does this, Sorry. Uh, does this does this wake up Cass y yeah sure yeah absolutely all right so as, as as the fire ensnares and starts to pull away at Cass's flesh he sort of wakes up and looks at his hands as flesh begins to strip from bone. He starts laughing like a freaking lunatic. He gives you the middle finger as uh, his bones start to burn and flesh away. And as he laughs, he says, Fuck you, stabby man. I'm going to come for you in your nightmares. As he, uh, as his face sort of becomes like this skull, it keeps laughing. His jaw falls off. His head sort of becomes like particleized as it disappears into this uh, into this swirling vortex. Uh, and the last thing that's there is uh, is just like this uh, the, his boomerang that kind of lands on the ground, razor sharp and uh, just lifeless. And as you exclaim that and give your last middle finger, your body gets gets sucked in the black hole. What's left of it? <laughs> As you know, all that's left for a moment is just your middle finger sticking out before it is too also consumed by this gravitational force. And over in the corner by Professor Stabs, Gerald pops up. Pfft. What the fuck was that guy's deal? I don't know, man. He said some really gnarly shit to me as he died, and I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep well for a while. <laughs> Shit's rough. Enough. Gerald, you've done your duty. Out. As the Grandmaster dismisses. <laughs> he was nice. Arbiter. <laughs> please. See if there's anything left remaining, or at least take his boomerang. The, ar I, I, the Arbiter picks up that boomerang and walks. You see him walk unscathed into the center of this black hole before disappearing himself. You're not better than me. <laughs> Smiling, the Grandmaster will come and land besides you, Professor Stabs. You have shown yourself worthy and adept at not only stabbing, but being clever on the field. Perhaps it's from your quick responses that you have been able to survive. And stabbing! And stabbing. <laughs> we have all sat here today in your classroom 
as you have taught us a new lesson in the art of battle. And she will reach out to grab your hand, your small goblin hand, and so raise mean. you up to the sky. Yes, her hand just engulfs yours entirely. <laughs> she's like She's basically grabbing all the way up to your elbow on this end as her long spindly fingers drags you up to the sky with such force. You know, you got like the wind tunnel face as you find yourself flying ah, high. Mommy! Throws you up into the air as a celebration, catching you on her shoulders. You know, like good sized butt cheek right there, all right, to catch you ready to land off as you had predicted, holding you out to the crowd. We have all sat within the lecture halls of battle. May you all have taken notes, for one day the test may come for you all. Thank you, and welcome and good night to D20 Deathmatch! Death